The visa-free regime for Ukrainians to Europe's Schengen zone was widely expected to be granted at next week's Eastern Partnership Summit in Latvia. Significant progress has been made towards visa liberalisation, the European Commission said earlier this month, yet more work needs to be done. With the current conflict in Ukraine's eastern industrial heartlands and other political and social challenges, an exact date when a visa-free regime will be achieved has yet to be set. Some 18 out of 28 EU member states have ratified the association agreement needed for any travel barriers for Ukrainians to be reduced. But what requirements need to be fulfilled? The Institute of World Policy, an NGO that promotes research and gives advice to public bodies on ways to promote European standards in Ukraine, has published a graphic with six steps the government still needs to take before a visa-free regime can be issued. Among the six include security of documents, improving background checks, databases and exchange of information with outside bodies. Number two, refugee policy, extending the rights of asylum seekers under international law. Third point, fighting against discrimination. Vulnerable people, including children and the elderly, must have more employment rights. Number four, fighting against drug dealers, organised crime and terror actions. Point five, possibly the most challenging, the fight against corruption. And finally, number six, guaranteeing the safety of internally displaced people and personal data. The prospect of fewer travel restrictions is seen as one of the main benefits for Ukrainians following the 2014 revolution of dignity that led to former pro-Kremlin president Viktor Yanukovych fleeing office.